Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your temporary host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Brian Vohr. Yellow. And Despicable Dan Reichert. Hello, fellas. <laughs> hey, and we're playing Paper Mario Sticker Star, and more specifically, I am playing it, so... I'll you're, take full responsibility. You're in Decalburg. We're in, yep, we're going to the, <laughs> the fuzzy plains. So yeah. here we are. Man, I like that overworld map, by the way. Yep. Before we get too far away from it. Want to go back uh, to it? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the idea. That was cool. <laughs> it, it's uh, yeah, it's it's like uh, Mario Three, and so as you even can though see, that's not the best Mario game. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Second best. Yeah. Well, I think the Paper Mario series has been interesting because each one of it takes a completely different approach to combat and whatnot. Oh, yeah. You still have, like, the real-time action here. Um, your attacks are tied to stickers, though, which are one-time use items. You got your little scrapbook here at the bottom. So... That seems extra weird to me. It is super weird at first, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. So I'm just going to use this completely weak shoe against the Goomba. Is it still uh, super timing based? Like tap, yep. tap, tap. Okay. Exactly. For so defense. then I'm gonna right yeah. there do a little bit. I think I blew it there, but yeah, you probably did. Yeah. Oh well. You got a shiny hammer. Is that better? Yeah. Or is that cracked? Oh, shiny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that that looks a shiny awesome. hammer. Yeah. And the cool thing is these like foil embossed stickers. You, you can't see it, but I'm tilting the 3DS and see how it's kind of shiny. Yeah. See a little effect? I don't know. It's just nice. Oh, oh it, it does that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, this is, I think, probably one of the few games that takes full advantage of the 3DS in a really cool way. Like, I think it's... The 3D on it is great. Really? Hit it. It's not like you have to use that effect to beat a boss. Like, it's just a fun little aesthetic choice. Just a nice choice. little little touch, yeah. yeah. And look at that. Get some, some dang coins. Well, if any game's art style lends itself to 3D well, I think it would be this one. Yeah. And... Like, at first, the one-time use um, inventory was kind of weird, because I, you know, I was like, oh, am I going to run out of things? But you can see they're all over the dang place. What's so funny, Dan Record? I really thought when you went up, I thought the prompt said P exclamation point instead of peel. Oh! I seriously thought for a second, like, wait, you can pee on the fence? Yeah! Oh, it does look like that. That's not just Dan. No. In his misunderstanding comedy. <laughs> Patented. <laughs> all right. Now, here's a really important thing for me, because um, yes. I love the Paper Mario games, I really love the Mario and Luigi games. Is this game funny? See, it's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. Because I There's really... a lot of, like, weird stuff. Uh, there's a pretty memorable sequence with Birdo. Okay. Oh, Birdo's comedy gold all yeah. the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... Just a weird, weird creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guy or girl, we don't know. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes has a bow. Yeah. Yeah, the sequence with Birdo, I don't want to give too much away, involves a trapeze... And a goat. Alrighty, so, I'm there on board. Sure. Right. This game rated everyone? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So wait, what happens if you just run out of stickers? Uh, you can't do anything except for run away. So has that ever happened to you in the, when you played this? No. Okay. okay so I th yeah. you know, again, I thought it was going to be a pretty big consideration. You know, running out of that in. Uh, I was like, oh, the inventory space is that going to be a problem? You uh, upgrade your scrapbook pretty regularly, and I guess the stickers are. They're out there in a pretty significant number, so... Well, I think the only time I ran cool. out of them was when I purposefully did it just to see what would happen. Oh, okay. Is it pretty much you're just finding them in blocks and stuff? Yeah, there's that. There's kind of in the environment. You get some of them by defeating enemies. So, you know, watch this. There's a special sticker. How far into this are you? This is from the very beginning. Oh, this is the beginning of This the is the beginning, after the tutorial stuff. Oh, okay, good. Thankfully, yes. Good job. Nice All right, so you see Toad, for the first time ever, is panicking. What? <laughs> He's He's James finally, Dean. Yeah, yeah, finally. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> yeah. So this sticker is pretty awesome, and you'll get to see it in action momentarily. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Are they going to do any official sticker merch to go with this? Oh, they totally should. I think there's some pre-order bonus, and it's a pretty lame sticker. But yeah. they really should. This Come on, they really sweet. should go all out. Yeah. I saw some GIF on the internet of uh, some sticker that made like a goat show up, like a giant goat yeah. and eat the enemies. Yeah, there's that a, looks pretty cool. Yeah, th there's a lot of stickers that are kind of based on... Um, you get three-dimensional objects, and you throw them against this thing, and it flattens them out into sticker form. Okay. So you get like a fan or one of those lucky cats. Uh, my favorite is a super soaker, which kind of turns it into a, a first-person shooter perspective. With oh, like wow. a little targeting reticle, and you yeah. pump it up and huh. spray when it does damage. That's yeah. cool. You know, these are really the only turn based RPGs that I play because it's just so good and it's funny, and I love mm -hmm. the, the actual battle seem more engaging because yep. you've got the timing stuff. So here's this I'm going to use the scissor real quick. Yeah, I guess these are the only JRPGs I like are Paper Dude. Mario games. 
Oh, they're fantastic. I like this. Oh, man. He is going to get it. Yeah, this is just not a good day to beat Bowser Jr. Are you just mashing a button? Yeah, I was just pressing A repeatedly, and that kind of Oh, man. Increases. Look at that. Whoa. You actually kill him. He's cute. You He's murdered. He was. I like him as a character. Do those coins have a sweet cardboard thing on the side? Like, if you cut a piece oh, like of cardboard? Oh, like corrugated cardboard? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's That's... so many cool art artistic touches to the Paper Mario games like that. that they're just awesome. I think if Nintendo exclusively made Paper Mario games, I'd be pretty happy. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> I think the way they handle Mario just yeah. as a character is so perfect. Because yep. we've got the big 3D ones that are awesome. Mm -hmm. We've got the 2D ones, which are a ton of fun. Uh, we've got this, which is a great turn-based RPG. Yep. You've got, uh, you know, the stuff for the kids, like the Olympic stuff. I know mm -hmm. we don't like, you know, like Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. Yeah. Stuff, but you got Mario Kart, which everyone likes. Mm -hmm. You're... They're doing a really damn good job with Mario. Yep. And they have for decades now. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. There hasn't been in, like, a dry a dry period at all. No, there's so you, no more consistent series in gaming. So you can see they, they he crumpled up the bridge, which we need. You can't get up there. Sure. Or can you? Oh, you oh can. there's a solution. <laughs> Do you have multiple pages of stickers? Yes. Okay. Yep. Is that why there's a two in there? That there's has something to two? do with that. Oh, exactly. Okay. Is that a puzzle? Uh, no, <laughs> okay. it is not a puzzle. There are puzzles in the game, but <laughs> look at that. Some dang toads. Oh, no, cool. Okay. Well, were toads supposed to be erased from the beginning? Or was I don't it just know. that same one in all the castles in the first? That's Mario a good Brothers? question. What's that guy? There's one hiding behind a bush back there. Wait, there he is. See him? See his dumb little head poking up? Oh, he's waving. Let's talk Ooh, to him. Let's sell you some drugs or something. Oh, he's the one with the foldy face. Yeah, he's the one who has something interesting to say. Watch I'm this. Unique. Yeah. And you obviously can't tell from here, but the game is in 3D, and like I, I said earlier, it is probably the best application of 3D that I've seen on 3DS. So the, That's great. It's gorgeous. Uh, you know, the pop-up book aesthetic has always been a kind of a cornerstone of the series, and it, it plays real nice with uh, with 3D. Okay. It, I can use my imagination here, and the, I can I can see that this will yeah. probably be really, <laughs> really good. Here we go. Classic Toad team up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. That's okay. They're they're suffering from Mario's art. They do a lot of yoga. They're made to serve. <laughs> Boom. Now this you'll get to see another mechanic here. Um, this is probably one of the bigger like puzzle uh, activities here. Which okay. is it's barely a puzzle. All right, I bet so, you put that bridge on that bridge hole. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fill the bridge hole. With, here we go. So here we go. Get ready. I am ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Boom! Now, what the hell's going on here? Yeah. That's your little uh, companion, Kirsty, who is a sticker. Kirsty. Kirsty. Okay. It's too normal of a name. Is there some pun it's, there? It's, it's an anagram really? of sticker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So there you go. Look at this. Something. I line up. And then you move left and right to kind of smooth it out. I like this. Do you put your finger on the thing? On no. The touch screen? My finger's on a thing, but it's the analog stick. Oh, okay. Seems like a missed opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, like spread out with your finger? Come on. Yeah. I suppose it is the top screen, though, so. Oh, no touching good point. Up there. Yeah. yeah. That would be a problem. Is there a lot of touch screen stuff? Um, it's mostly for inventory. Okay. So, turns out that's a great way to use a second screen. Exactly. But yeah, all down Some there, mini map. Yeah. Top screen's nice and pretty. Got a whole bunch of crap cluttering it. That was so awesome in Ocarina of Time 3D. Is that just like, oh, I need to turn my iron boots on. Just click mm -hmm. right down there. I love that. Yeah. That was that was such an awesome port. Yep. That is the best way to play one of the best games. Ever. Yeah. Absolutely. I really enjoyed it. That was the first time I ever played that game, actually. Yeah, it was interesting talking to you as we went through that. that yeah, that's what happens if you biff it. Iconic game. So as with previous ones, like you can, there's kind of a risk reward thing going on here. You want to hold it as long as possible to do more damage, but you don't want the top to fall off. Ooh. No, that's, that's Smash with Brothers faux pas. <laughs> I like that the the Goomba just goes yep. flying off. In you the have distance. these Bowser stickers too. You peel them off, and it kind of reveals a little extra bonus in the world, such as here. So it's like scissor refill. Sweet. It's kind of like a little big planet style where mm. these chunks of cardboard mm -hmm. kind of realistic but designed to look 
more fantasy stuff. Yeah. Style. And I th finding the 3D objects is probably one of my favorite parts of the game, just because you, you pick up these things that are completely bizarre. It's like like the goat, for instance. You pick it up, and you have no idea what this thing does. <laughs> yeah. And you just have to, like, try it in battle and be like, I hope this is... Yeah, exactly. The ba hammer. I like you get to use it once, and you don't know what's going to be, huh? So let's use the ba hammer here. What's the hammer with the sheep on it going to do? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh yeah. Yeah, all right. yeah. Yeah. Boy, I'm really wanting to play this all of a sudden after yeah. watching you do this. Game's awesome. This looks just charming. And I'll use the e camera, which I never really got the hang of this one. Yeah, I totally biffed it there. All right, he's asleep, so it doesn't matter. This one. Is he regaining health as he's asleep? Exactly. So there's kind of a nice element of strategy there. Do all of the hammers or all the jumps have the same gameplay mechanics so you don't have to remember like, oh, it's the ba hammer, I hold it, and the shiny uh, one, I tap twice, or... Some of them are a little different, like that e-camer. Uh, the gimmick with that is you can just keep pounding on them for a while. Okay. That was one I never really felt comfortable with the timing. Does so. it ever... I mean, is it overwhelming to where, like, you want to use something that's like, oh, wait, is this the jump where it's like this, or the jump where it's like this? No, 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 no. I think there's only, a, like, a... Relatively small number of like you got hammers and you've got you know fire flowers and different there's variations of them but I think it's it's the same basic type. Okay. It wasn't like I ever uh, collapsed in a hysterical mess trying to sort it out. That's good. I yeah. remember reading in your review, Jeff. You talk about the line-based uh, element of the combat. Yeah, that it's a little kind of off-putting at first. You know that. You know, that you don't switch um, like which target you want. They're just kind of all in a row. So, for instance, you know if you've got a flying enemy followed oh. by a Goomba, you know yeah. obviously uh, you can stomp on the uh, the flying enemy, but a shell won't do anything, for instance, because it'll just oh. slide right underneath them. So, it's one of those games that's deceptively complex, which mm -hmm. I appreciated. So you you can't choose your target. Nope, You're, you got so your front dude there. You just automatically default to the front dude. Yep. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Man, he, man! Oh, I bet that <laughs> was going super 3D! 3D yeah. 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 Are there any characters with like a uh, ball and paddle that he like to hit at the screen and it bounces back and forth? That's a classic 3D effect. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I remember like a ABC sent out free 3D glasses for like some Drew Carey thing and I watched it and there was just some guy doing that to show off 3D. Yeah. Oh, Pretty stupid. It's super stupid. I remember the Creature of the Black Lagoon, we saw that in 3D when I was a kid, and uh, rope was thrown at the screen. It just ah. seemed like the, the lamest implementation. <laughs> so, a, a guy with a cane that really likes to point at things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Those things aren't in this game. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Good. Yeah. We can talk about what else isn't in the game, if you like. <laughs> Didn't see any zebras. <laughs> so, fans of zebras may not be impressed. So, there we go. The comet pieces. You know, obviously, you gotta pick up some kind of doodad. So there's, what, seven or something of these, or...? All kinds of them, yeah, scattered throughout the world. Okay. And one of the nice things, too, is you've got that overworld map that we saw at the very beginning. You're not tethered to a particular area. You can kind of explore mm. different worlds. Uh, some of them are obviously, uh, well, maybe not so obviously. You have to have a specific item to really make any progression, but you can usually ha juggle, like, two, uh, two different uh, areas at a time and going back and forth. So you can kind of back out of any of these worlds at any time. Yeah. Much. You pretty much have to just be happy when you're playing this game. It's the happiest damn thing. It's yeah. funny, it looks great. So, you know, this Mario. is another great... They're stickers, so they kind of roll up in these cones. Don't jump so on them. You jump They're on them, and sharp. it's a critical error. Hit him with a hammer. Oh, man, that was a good job. Oh, you got double double dip splash damage. Oh, he's kind of like a paper airplane. Man. Yep. Boy, I like this. Yeah. Ta-da! Oh, that there, that's good. What do you got in your scraps? What's that now? What do you got in your scraps? Well, uh, let's take a look. I don't think I've... Uh, where am I? Nothing. Okay. What, yeah. what is that? Those are like the like the bridge. Oh, okay. And that kind of thing. Oh, what are yeah. things? Uh, things are like those uh, 3D objects. You got any of those? Let's see here. Oops, I am uh, oh, navigating. Oh, well. this finger. is a freaking disaster. <laughs> yeah, I've got the, the scissors, for instance, would be in there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, scissors are things. <laughs> you know, things. Oh, no, and this is another great part. Good observation about the little cord yeah, the cardboard it's, edges. It's nice. Yeah. So anyway, it's a brief look at 
Paper Mario Sticker Star. Jeff, you're good at selling games to me. You, you yeah. basically sold me Connect uh, Nike Training. I bought that yeah. on your recommendation, and now I think I'm going to buy this. This looks fantastic. Well, good. Yeah, I ended up giving her an 875. You know, it does have some issues, in particular, when you use those uh, those items, like the scissor, for instance. They are one shot, and some of the boss battles are geared specifically toward a certain item. Okay. And oh. if you don't have it, you can basically find yourself in a really bad position where you just end up burning through a lot of the uh, inventory oh, items. Oh, right. Okay. And if you run out of the scissor, then, or whatever the item is, you're just basically screwed and you have to Well, stop. there's a little black market guy. You can, you know, replace the items. But, but like, yeah, you don't battle have... if you run out. Oh, in battle, yeah, you are just unbelievably screwed <laughs> okay. at that point. Yeah. But anyway, that is uh, the game. Thanks for soaking it up with me, guys. Yeah. I do appreciate that. Yeah, let's go. And, uh, yeah, sticker. There you go. Thanks again for watching, <laughs> and uh, yeah, tune in for another episode of Test Chamber.